Hi, this is Guy Barker. Welcome to Herbie.org. I am going to give a demonstration of how to customize the look of the sample letters shown in the Herbie Writer handwriting development software, which I wrote with the help of my friends. And I'm going to show the software running on this small, handy, ultra mobile PC. Here we have Herbie Writer showing the lowercase letters set of letters. You can always see the name of the letter set being used at the top of the, um, the window here. And it's showing the letter A, the sample letter A. If I copy that out, then Herbie Writer considered that to be correct and moved the letter to the top right of the screen. I can change which set of letters is shown by clicking the settings button here, going to the customize tab, and picking a different set of letters from this list here. For example, I'll pick uppercase letters. And I can also change the background shown behind the letters by clicking the Browse button here and selecting a different image. I'm going to select the two-line background, then click OK. And we have uppercase letters being shown on a two-line background. And if I write out B here, here we write to consider that to be correct. And I'll change this back to showing the lowercase letters by clicking the lowercase letters here and clicking the browse button and picking the background three line. And now it's showing the three line background again and a lowercase set of letters. Now you might want to change the look of the sample letters to be perhaps something more familiar to your, to your students. And you can change them to look like whatever you want. So you can either change the look of the letters in the sample letters that come with Herbie Writer or you can create a new set of letters and then change them to look like whatever you want. So we'll do that. And how you do that is clicking the advanced button and then clicking the new letter set button here. That means we will create a brand new set of letters. And you can call it whatever you want. So let's call it my letters. Okay. And it's very important to base the set of letters you're about to create on an existing set of letters. So to start with, we'll base these letters on lowercase letters, and then click Create. And you'll have noticed that in the list now, there is an item called My Letters, which is the new set of letters you've just created. And again, this is the exact copy of the lowercase letters set, because that was selected in the list when you hit the Create button. So now we're going to change the look of these letters to be whatever you want. So let's hit the Customize Letters button while the new letters set is highlighted in the list. Okay, so now we're going to have the opportunity to change the letters to look like whatever you want. And you can do this as many times as you want as well, so you don't have to get it right first time. So here we have the set of letters that are available, uh, which is starting at A through Z. And down here is the sample letter that currently exists in that letter set. And of course it looks like the, set of the letter A from the lowercase set of letters. So say we want the letter to look more cursive. So I will draw a cursive letter A here. And say, well, I don't really like the look of that one. I want to do that again. So we'll clear, hit the clear button and I'll do it again. OK, and say that's what I want the letter to look like. I'll then click the Apply button. It says the sample letter has now been changed. So we've done A. Now let's change what B looks like. OK, the sample letter is shown there. And I'm going to draw a new version of it here. And again, say I don't quite like that one, so let's clear that. I'll do it again. OK, and I'm happy with that one. So I'm going to click the Apply button now. It says it's been changed, and then I'm going to hit the close button. OK, now I'm going to click the OK button. And you'll notice, at the top of the window here, it now says showing my letters. My letters being the name that we gave the new letter set that we just created. So, if I now have a look at what A and B look like in this letter set, you'll see that that's the new letter that I created a moment ago. If I draw that, that was close enough, and Herbie Wright said it was correct. Similarly, I can show what B looks like. 
and there we have the B. All the rest of the letters will be exact copies of what was in the lowercase letter set, but what you would typically do is customise all the letters to be what you want. And so by doing that you've created a brand new set of letters to look like whatever you want, and you can do that as many times as you want. You can create as many new letter sets as you want, uh, and you can customise them however you like. Now Herbie Writer comes with other types of letters which aren't really letters at all, but rather numbers and shapes. So if you click the settings button, and then the customise tab, you could pick numbers from the list. And click OK, and now it's showing the numbers 0 through 10. So I could pick number 3, and it looks like that. And again, if you don't like what that number 3 looks like, you could change that to be something else. So I will actually customise the letter in the numbers letter set that comes with Herbie Writer. Again, I'll hit the Advanced tab, check that numbers is there, it is there. I will do Customise Letters, so I'm going to customise the letters in the numbers set. I'm going to pick 3, and say I want it to look like that, say. I'll click Apply, OK, Close, and I'm done. And now, if we have a look at the number 3, it's the new letter. In the future, Herbie Writer will be able to show things other than numbers and letters, but also words. These could be printed words, cursive words, or words that you've changed to look like anything you want. An example of the sort of thing it'll be able to do comes with Herbie Writer. If you click the Settings button, and then the Customize tab, there's a Cursive Words item there. And if you select that and press OK, you can see a list of five words shown as, shown as examples of the sort of thing it'll be able to do. So, for example, if I pick cat, I could try writing that. Now, it can be quite difficult to write a word in the required width, because as you write the word it might be wider or less wide than the sample. So you might want to change the background here to show a grid, which will help the student write the letters in the appropriate place. So I'll click background grid 32, and now we have the grid shown. And that will help me to write in roughly the right area. Now, I'll deliberately write in an inappropriate way. Okay, and Herbie Writer can see that incorrect. Now I'll try and write a more close match to the sample. And Herbie Writer can see that correct. So in the future, you'll be able to add your own words, and they can look like whatever you want.